Hey everyone! So today I am going to be doing the perfect imperfections tag for you because it was requested and you know I feel like we need to get to know each other just a little bit better. We're really not at the place where we can just go up to each other and be like hey what's up? You know how was your weekend and so on and so forth. We're still kind of the oh weather's really nice out there stage. So hopefully th this will um, help you know me, get to know me just a little bit better and it will also hopefully help me to get to know you guys better and not feel so awkward talking in front of a camera because it's kind of strange. I don't know, most of you have your own YouTube channels and you may or may not get the same sensation as well but it's just kind of like this little eye staring at me, just sort of staring me down. I have to keep talking. So anyway, um, let's get started before my roommate starts to think that I'm going insane and talking to myself. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with the three imperfections. And the first one I want to start with, I don't even know if you can see it because this camera isn't that great. I'm going to be getting a new one soon, but until then you just kind of have to bear with me and, you know, take my word that it's there. But, like, in the middle of my forehead, almost like right here, is this vein. And it's not really heavy, and you don't notice it very much because it's not like it doesn't stick out, except if I'm angry or playing a musical instrument or I don't know, maybe holding my breath, but it's there. And every so often it decides to like show itself. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, you have a vein in the middle of your forehead. I'm like, I know. It's lovely, isn't it? And, and you can't hide it with concealer because then it kind of just like pushes through the skin just a teeny tiny little bit and it's probably more than you wanted to know about the vein in the middle of my forehead. But uh. <laughs> Okay, so the second one of my imperfections is that this eyelid is droopier than the eyelid on my right side. And I don't know if you can see it, I'll just stare into the camera for a second. But but it's significantly like, I'll just be walking past the mirror and I'm just like, huh, oh why do I look so tired? Oh wait, it's only on my left side because I have a droopy eye. And I don't know if anyone else can see this, I may just be going slightly crazy or be really nitpicky about my eye, but it's just one of those things that is always just sort of fucking me. And I always think like, oh, I have to turn this way to show people my face in pictures because if not, it's going to be me and my droopy eye. So that would be my second thing. Okay, and now my final one is something that I tried to correct, well my parents tried to correct earlier, but I had braces at one point and got them off when I was 12 or 13 and you try to explain the importance of wearing to a, ret a, a retainer to a 12 or 13 year old and I'm pretty sure no matter who you are, it's just not going to work. So my bottom teeth are kind of like jagged. It bothers me because they're more or less straight. It's just this one, it sticks up. Ugh. Okay, so now for my three, the three things that I really like about myself. And the first one is my hair because it's kind of just big and poofy and almost red, but not really red. It's kind of blonde, and no one can really tell me exactly what color it is, so they just th throw me in with the redheads. You know, if you have really, really red hair and you're like, your hair isn't red, then I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend you by leaving myself, like, by lumping myself in with redheads, but, you know, what else are you going to call the color of my hair? So, but, um, no, I really like it. It's super, super, super thick. I will always have a mountain of it. And it's just something that, you know, I used to hate because I was like, oh, you have such pretty hair. And I was like, oh, I think I'm going to dye it. Don't dye it! Whatever you do, don't dye it! You know, so I was kind of like, oh, you know, I'm glad I have such nice hair, but I don't get to do anything fun with it. But, you know, now I've, I've really grown to love my hair so much. So my next, one of my, I guess, perfections would be that I really, really, really like my dimples. And, you know, if you haven't guessed, my heritage is predominantly Irish. This side is a little bit more prominent than this side, but I don't know, I think it's super cute and adorable and I love 
people with dimples, I kind of want to go up and pinch their cheeks. Oh, it's so cute. I am sure if you have dimples, you don't want me to pinch your cheeks, so I will <laughs> I strain myself to the best of my ability. But, um, you know, dimples are fun and cute, and so I really like mine. Alright, so my last one is something that I also used to dislike about myself, and it's the color of my eyes, which are kind of this stormy blue color. It's not really blue, and it's not really gray, so we're just going to go with stormy. But, um, no, I used to really dislike it because my, the rest of my family has these shockingly bright blue eyes just sort of pop out at you. And once when I was skiing with my two brothers and you're just sort of covered from head to toe with ski gears and no one can see anything else except your eyes, so we took them off because we were just riding back down to the village and these two women were in the in the cart with us and like, oh well, looking at my two brothers like, oh what beautiful blue eyes you two have and I'm sitting there like, what about me? So <laughs> made me a little sad, but no, I've, I've really grown into liking my eyes. Okay, and now obviously everyone is tagged in this video. If you're watching this video, you are tagged. If, well I guess if you're not watching this video, you wouldn't know it, but you're tagged too. It's not so much about finding things that you don't like about yourself, but it's about forcing yourself to find the things that you really do like about yourself, which it was really easy for me to sit there and be like, okay, well I don't like the pain in my forehead, and I don't like my droopy eye. It's a lot easier to find those imperfections about, it, about ourselves, but it was a lot harder for me to sit there and be like, what do I really like about myself? What do I think is fun? And, you know, a good feature. You know, I mainly focused on my face, but it's kind of hard for me to stand up in front of this horrible webcam <laughs> and you see the entirety of me. I think it's really good for people to get a chance just to, you know, not be so negative about themselves and try to find the things that are really, really positive that you like about yourselves and a lot of the things that you know, I said I'd like, like my hair and my eyes, were things I used to hate and couldn't stand. So it's about learning to accept yourselves or, you know, just kind of growing into the things that you dislike about yourself and realizing, you know, that hey, it's not the end of the world that I have red hair. You know, it's actually kind of cool that I do. But anyway, yes, you are all tagged and please, 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 please respond either by just, you can type out, you know, your answers below for your response. It'd be great. I think it would just be really fun for all of us to get to know each other. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching. Please, 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 please comment below with your answers because I'd love to really get to know you all. I'm glad you guys all watched my video and you will hear from me soon and hopefully I will hear from you all. I'm looking at you and I'm looking at you. Yep. You all soon. Alright. Bye.